Okay, in this session we're going to cover a little bit more advanced commands. I also want to clarify a little bit about the tab commit, uh, key. So I'm going to actually hit a T and I'm going to hit tab once and you're going to see nothing happen. So I have to hit it actually twice um, to get it to give me the options available. Um, the reason for that is because there was more than one option available. Uh, if forever, uh, however, I hit TW, for example, uh, and then hit tab again. Now you see that it actually auto fills the name Twin Star because there is only one option that starts with TW. So I just wanted to clarify that tab may need to be hit twice to do an auto fill. Uh, if you hit it twice, then it will typically give you all the available options. Okay. Uh, another uh, thing I wanted to point out here um, capital T is going to show you different options than the lowercase t. So just be aware of that again, Linux is case sensitive, all right? Um, since we just touched on Twinstar, I wanted to show you a little bit how you can find where files may be coming from, uh, where they're located, maybe which ones are being run. Um, so I'm gonna type in where is and Twinstar uh, so we can see that where it actually exists in the file system. All right, so here it is. It's in user sbin twinstar. Um, there's another occurrence with a name that starts with twinstar, but it's the man pages or the manual. Um, so in this scenario, it looks like um, it would be run from user sbin, but maybe I don't know that. So I, I can actually type in which to verify. If I type in which twinstar, it's going to actually show me now where exactly that file would be run from if I were to run it. Um, by the way, if I do run it, this system's not enabled, so uh, it doesn't have Twinstar enabled, so it doesn't give me anything other than the fact that I don't have it, okay? So no Twinstar port information, okay? But I just wanted you to be aware um, of where you can find where files come from and where they're being run from. Uh, another useful tool uh, is the last command. Uh, you can see here I just typed in last and it showed me all of the different um, logins on this system for the last however long uh, the system's been up. Now, as you can see, the top of this was cut off. So I'm gonna actually show you another useful tool to see um, outputs like this that are more than one screen uh, a little easier. Uh, the first one is actually called more. So I'm gonna type in last and then I'm gonna use the more command uh, with the pipe in front of it. So I'm actually cascading commands there. Okay. So uh, now you see that it actually is at the top of the uh, the output and it now has a more down at the bottom. So if I hit the enter key once, it's going to scroll one line at a time. So as you can see, I'm hitting the enter key several times. Uh, if I want to scroll down faster, I can hit the space bar and that is a page down. So another thing to keep, uh, and so I'm hitting spacebar, and I hit spacebar, and I got to the end of the output. So um, another thing I want you to be aware of is in more, you can only scroll down um, through the file. So whatever you've got for an output, uh, you can either hit enter to s to go one space at a time, or you can hit uh, spacebar to go down a page at a time. But once you get to the end of the output, you're done. Uh, a better way to to do um, an output like that, instead of the more command, is actually the less command. What less actually lets you do, among other things, is actually scroll up and down. So I'm scrolling down with my arrow key. Uh, I can actually scroll back up. I can hit enter to page down a line, just like in more. Uh, I can hit um, the space bar to go down. Uh, I can actually use page up and page down as well. So you see less is a lot more useful then more, uh, but more you just need to be aware of um, is out there as well. Uh, I'm going to hit the Q key now to get out of this, and that is all we have for this session. Thanks for watching.